Okay, I'll take this one. Um, so at low power here, it already looks like a very busy dermis, and that's where our action is. We're getting some suggestion of crack-like spaces here and proliferation of vessels. Now we're starting to see some extravasated red blood cells. Yeah. Okay, and here it's starting to look more like we're getting those slit-like um, vessels almost dissecting between collagen in certain areas. Very good. And I think we're starting to see some atypical cells as well. Um, angiosarcoma yeah good this is um this is angiosarcoma and um i think there's we could talk forever on angiosarcoma because it's a very complicated topic but like you said it's a busy cellular dermis here and when you go in you begin to see little spaces between the these tumor cells and look there's hobnailing see the the cells bulge into the lumen here so um, that's, uh, that's, like I told you, that can be seen in lots of different things, angiosarcoma and other malignant things and other benign things. So it's not a specific feature. But here, it's actually a little hard to tell, are these spaces actually vascular or not? And so in cases like this, A, immunostates can help. But you could also wonder, you know, could this be melanoma or a carcinoma or something where the tumor cells are falling apart? Um, certainly here, look, I mean, it's like almost solid. There are some spaces, but I see artifactual spaces in poorly differentiated, you know, epithelioid tumors in the skin all the time. So uh, immunostains can be helpful. ERG and CD31 are, are my two favorites, but CD34 can also work as long as you remember that um, some angiosarcomas lose expression of CD34. Um, the more helpful thing is if you're lucky and have a big enough biopsy, go look at the edge of the lesion. And then the vascular channel formation, usually, if you have a big enough sample, usually you'll begin to see more obvious areas of true vasoformation. In the center, in cellular zones, it can be quite challenging uh, to recognize angiosarcoma, which is why I always keep it on my differential for poorly differentiated malignancies, either spindle or epithelioid cell in the skin of older or sun-damaged adults particularly, or in radiated sites. But here we see dilated um, channels, and we've got bulging um, hobnailing of, uh, of endothelial cells into the lumen. And then in other areas, you can see that the lumen start filling up with cells. That's kind of what's happening here. Sometimes on immunostains, it's easier to see. Like here, this probably used to be a lumen, and now it's full of multiple endothelial cells. Kind of like people have described it as fish in the creek. Like it's a bunch of fish swimming together in the middle of the, the river, the creek uh, or stream that the vascular channel is. And so that filling up of lumens of vascular space is not good. The infiltration between collagen in general is a worrisome sign, although some benign things can trickle in between collagen and, um, and uh, particularly like uh, targetoid hemosiderotic hemangioma we talked about earlier, microvenular hemangioma. There are other benign things that can trickle between collagen, and which is why we often teach about those because their trickling, you know, kind of pseudo infiltrative growth can cause them to mimic angiosarcoma or Kaposi sarcoma. Okay, so it's important to know about those. Here you can see more of the the um, vascular channels, and again the the multiple endothelial cells filling the spaces. Um, and this one is, is not um, as ugly as some. The endothelial cells here are kind of, kind of monotonous rather than pleomorphic, but they're quite big. They're quite large compared to normal endothelial cells, and it's way too cellular. And if we looked around and had a better scan, I'm sure we'd find mitosis here. And then you get filling in, see these pink bundles are collagen. And so this tumor is streaming between the collagen, and usually you will find this. You will find endothelial cells wrapping around individual collagen bundles. That is a worrisome sign. And angiosarcoma particularly likes to wrap individual collagen bundles. Kaposi sarcoma can do that too. Um, and then the last thing is if we didn't have any information provided us clinically, and this was an exam, go and look at the periphery of the skin to try to give you some context clues about where you are and how old your patient might be. Here we've got large sebaceous glands and large hair follicles, so we're probably on the face of an adult, and we've got blue stuff, solar elastosis. So we're on the face, probably, of an old sun-damaged adult. So vascular spaces with hypercellular endothelial cells that are filling up the channels and infiltrating the collagen on the face of an old sun-damaged adult, that's angiosarcoma until proven otherwise. So that's what we can take that context and that can help us a bunch because you don't, it's extremely rare to see angiosarcoma in kids or even young adults. Um, the main, you know, setting what we might see angiosarcoma in a younger 
a patient is if they've had radiation therapy. Um, or maybe there's some other very niche, nuanced circumstances. But usually when I see angiosarcoma, it's in the skin on uh, sun-damaged uh, older adults on the head and neck usually, or in the setting of radiation, or sometimes in chronic lymphedema. The vast majority of angiosarcoma cases I see are in those contexts right there. All right? And there, that's another area where you can see the cellularity and the filling of vascular spaces. I have many videos and digital slides and uh, resources about angiosarcoma online. It's a very, very serious disease um, with uh, aggressive behavior in, in many cases. It can, uh, it's important to make, be very careful when making this diagnosis and don't give it lightly, but also try not to miss it because it's very serious either way. And you're buying someone a huge surgery and a really serious prognosis. Uh, there's really good example of infiltration and entrapment of individual collagen bundles here with endothelial lines spaces in between. All right.